Infrastructure as code, right? We know we uh, talk about more like IAS, right? So infrastructure as code. What does that mean? So most of the time we talk about like, okay, so we are everything we are doing uh, in our uh, Azure portal, right? Portal. So how can we make sure like whatever we are doing in the portal, can we write as a code and execute it and build our own infrastructure or own uh, our own resource? Of course, yes. So that's called the infrastructure as a code, right? You can say like instead of software, it's a, a service, it's a code, right? Infrastructure is code. So you are building a, a particular VM, right? Or you are building a storage account. Storage account. What you are doing? You are going to portal, click add, uh, I mean, uh, you know, clicking the, uh, you know, storage account option. Then you are going with clicking and providing some options, uh, some details, and then you are clicking the create button to create the storage account. But can we can we write a code code for this particular uh, particular you know action, whatever the action we are trying to do, or building an infrastructure kind of uh, you know storage account? Can you do that from our code? Yes, we can. So that is called as infrastructure as code. So to maintain those all these things, you might hard some some of the time, most of the time, ideally, most of the company are using Terraform, right? So these things are being maintained most of the time uh, and taken care by the Terraform tool, right? So this is a different story altogether, but I'm just, you know, giving you a hints like, so this kind of tools are really, you know, uh, used to, uh, uh, you know, uh, manage and deploy these codes, infrastructure as code, right? So ideally, it ensures consistency of deployment across your cloud ecosystem, right? For example, today you have one storage account. You want to replicate the same storage account in different cloud or in different region or something like that. What you are going to do? You have your code available. Exactly execute that particular code whatever the code you have used to create the first storage account, you can execute the same code to create another storage account, exactly the replica, whatever the configuration you have given, exactly same, right? Only thing is like your cloud might change, your, uh, you know, uh, uh, your uh, region might change, your zone might change, those are the things. But internal configurations, tags, all these things will be same, right? So that is one of the things. Manage configuration at scale. Of course, so whenever you are writing a code and try to deploy it, you don't have to touch up on all these lots of you know components available in the uh, in the system, right? So you are you, it's it's very much you know easier to manage even if you have a you know bigger scale of infrastructure, right? And rapid provisioning. Rapid provisioning is as I said, right? If you want to add more replica of the same you know component or same resource you have already created just execute the again execute the uh, that particular code again it will just create another one just you need to make sure you are giving a different name right and different name but same group resource group right so that same resource will be added to the same resource group right so those are the things the benefit of infrastructure as code right so we'll we'll take a look into that how we can uh, do uh, do that okay so uh, i mean before that i mean we'll just i mean uh, take a uh, little bit talk about the templates right what are the different templates available we already saw these templates uh, if you recall those things while we are uh, building different you know components or different resources so as i said like the azure resource manager right templates are the javascript object notations right so it's kind of a available in mostly in the json format right we, we saw that in our uh, uh, in our uh, portal, right? So if we go back to the portal quickly, and I'll just try to press this guy. Uh, 
Oh, pilih Brazil. Oh, pilih Brazil. Oke. Okay. So, we'll go with this guy, the master account. I'm not going to the, uh, the user account. Then, uh, when you will go here, so if you see, if you go with the overview, you can see all these things. But for these, you, you can have the template as well, right? So, for the template, you can find the template from here, right? So, where you can find the template. Uh, right so if you're not able to find anything right away so just type it out here in the search bar you will able to see those so what i'm trying to show here is like we have we already created one storage account right so i want to show like the, whatever the configuration we have given to that while while we were we were creating that storage all these things already available somewhere so that is called template right so now using this template you can able to build any number of any number of similar storage account you want right in future what you have to do you have to export this and use it further whenever you want to build that particular uh, build that particular you know uh, 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 any similar kind of storage right because everything here right so let's for example you are deleting this particular uh, particular um, uh, storage account now and tomorrow you want to again want to have similar kind of configuration uh, and you want to restart with your work right where you left just execute this particular template okay then you'll be able to get those right everything see this is not, not only the account in this account whatever the blob available also it's there see these details are there we have created one ball blob right called AG 900 blog and there was another blog called my blog yes yes that is there right what is not there is like one file one file we had in that particular blog that we have already deleted after we have deleted that this particular template has updated right that's why that file is not showing here if we could have you know we could have uh, you know uh, uh, create the you know create the backup of this particular template we could have compared like what was the earlier and after deleting what is then uh, what is now right so this is what it is it will hold the latest latest version of the template in which whichever state your resource is okay this particular storage account resource is in this particular state at this current point of time so now you can just download download it and you can use it wherever you i mean whenever you want to redeploy it right we'll take a look under, into that in a little bit later right so that is what called template right so and the and resource manager takes care of those templates right so it's a kind of a json format right we saw like uh see this is what format it is it's simple json format right see all those tags start with you know brackets curly braces all these things right so it's ideally json schema see dot json right it's a json schema so uh, so the templates are normally the json schema file that can be used to create and deploy azure infrastructure without having to write programming commands right so what you have to do is you you don't have to even write the program for that you already have file everything is there you just need to execute on one command to deploy it and provide the file link wherever the file store you have to provide the link of the file right so what is the structure of this particular i mean uh, type of this uh, json file the template file it's it's in declarative uh, syntax and repeatable oh something happened in the uh, teams okay so uh repeatable results right and orchestration codable code right so this is what the templates really does right through this azure resource manager correct if you see in the graph just imagine like you have a resource manager template and here non-template infrastructure as a core right 
it can be what it can be lots of imperative calls right you are writing code right maybe uh, some you are writing a api uh, uh, api code in maybe python so you have to writing multiple codes where you have to write a put a put command right and this put command under put command you have to write lots of code in here right so these are the calls i mean you have to uh, you know you are building through your code base and this is not a non template it's a non template code right it's not template at all but the the code in a json format we saw is the template right that is the resource manager uh, you know resource manager template right so it's just you need to submit one template everything will be built there but here if you are writing through a program using some sdk right so uh, software development kit right sdk means software development kit software development kit right so using this so there are lots of capabilities libraries are there inside this particular you know uh, library so you can just import that into your programming language wherever you know id id uh, id you are using you are using code or you are using eclipse or you are you are using some dot net framework whatever right so you have to import that particular sdk to uh, write the uh, write the code this imperative code uh, to to uh, work with the uh, work with the uh, azure resource manager right but when you are working with the template so you are just need to submit that particular template file and then everything will be created here right so it will go to the azure manager then azure manager will try to read that whole file and create that and provision those resources whatever i um, mean written in that particular file because re azure resource manager built in such a way that it can easily read that particular json file and create the resources and provision those resources according to the, uh, according to the information available in that json file right so th th those informations are nothing but these things right what kind of storage it is what kind of you know what are the parameters given and uh, and uh, other things like what are the blobs already available need to be created right so all those things available here right so so uh, that is the benefit of the benefit of the you know uh, resource manager template right you can use for uh, any kind of re repetitive uh, thing you want to build right so i want to show one of the thing here uh, i just i put this on on top of one screenshot anyways so uh, so how it will look like is uh, so i just put it anyways so uh okay okay so whenever you are going to write any command and using the cli right how the command look like this ag right ag is nothing but this is the command for agio right so the group is what kind of resource you are going to create you are creating resource group right and what you are going to do you are creating this creating a resource group right with name you are going to provide the name like this and where is the location whenever we are creating from portal we know like how i mean we have to provide a location right a region where we are going to create that so this is one of the example east us so the whenever we have created we have always given the australia central right somehow it was falling into the that region whenever we have created that account so it's going that region right so uh, so those are things so the moment you will execute this particular command just one small line it will create one storage account i mean one resource group for you right this is the resource group we are creating right then you are going to create one storage account and you want to attach that storage account to that resource group you have already created then what you have to do same way what is the command command for which cloud azure cloud right so what you are going to uh, which resource you are going to operate on storage azure storage account right we call a storage account what you want to do create delete update or what you want to do the operation is create operation right then all those options we used to 
deal with while you are using uh, we were creating a storage account from uh, through the portal most similar kind of you know the options we are providing here and everything should be key value pair right key value this is the key what is the name and you are giving the name value what, what kind of what is the resource group the resource group name is here what is the location here right what is the sku sku is related to the uh, uh, hard disk right what kind of hard disk you are going to use and what kind of storage you are going to use right so and the access tire uh, you remember we uh, while we are creating this storage we have different kind of access tire we had to choose one right full i mean hot full old archive right there are multiple options so we already talked about this what is hot storage cold storage cold storage right this uh, archive storage right so hot is when when you are trying to deal with very frequently so that kind of storage is called hot storage you no know? the tire is hot tire right it never goes you know goes off uh, and the latency of this what accessing to this particular area is very very less right in the sense like super fast whenever you are trying to access something it you will get response very faster that is called hot tire right so that's how it is so the behind the screen you see like it's a you know syntax of the bicep syntax okay so mostly we are dealing with this as your client or or the you know uh, or the you know uh, uh, the power cell right so it's just duplicated correct so we'll, we'll just go back to our uh, system uh, azure system and try to see how can we build something right let's go uh, we'll go to home what we're talking see i i told you there are there are multiple ways we can really deal with this kind of you know commands right we are not going to touch anything from the portal but we are going to use the command line from the portal we are not going to click anything here right we'll just go going to click one uh, one tool where we'll use the cloud cell so this is the azure cell we are going to use right so whenever you are trying to do it let's do it right okay but what we are going to do just for sake of uh, uh, i mean you know uh, trying to compare like what exactly we have now and while we are creating if we got those right so just keep in mind like we have only two uh, you know uh, two storage accounts right and how many resource group we have just check the resource groups as well like we are going to create a resource group and we will create a uh, create uh, a storage account again and we'll see like if we are if we are able to see those in the portal or not right uh where is that guy resource group right so we have two resource groups right that we have created right and those are attached to the azure subscription one only right so now what we are going to do we will create another another call uh, another uh, resource group and through our command line okay not from the not from the console right let's do that okay so what we can do for that i i have already written i mean a small command for you so where it will help you to get it so now see what we are trying to do here ag as is our common right the group we are trying to create a resource group right resource group and what kind of operation create operation and the name we are providing rg smart ak iaas see iaas already there let's change it something name to uh, okay let's give this and try it right try it uh, what is the harm so and the location the location we are providing is the australia east right so i could use i mean i i could provide that as uh, as you know us east or something like that but 
initially when we are trying to do that it was asking for you know higher uh, cost for that right so anyway we are using the australia east so uh, we will use that particular australia east here right and try to create one let's see what happened so this is uh, this is got succeeded right so uh, i a s what we have given uh, smart take i a s right so this is the one when it's created uh, no no uh, this one is smart take i a s and go to the overview and see like what its activity log right we didn't uh, we didn't choose in for the activity log so uh, what we can see the activities activity directory access tags resource uh, this is the problem okay this was probably i have already deleted or created let's create one more there is no harm so we'll try to create iaac right infrastructure as core tagging and with we are uh, just trying to create one uh, resource right Let's see if you are able to create it. OK, so it's try to create one and let's go to the resource group and refresh it. See, we got one. RG Smart Techie IAAC, right? So if you go there, you see all these things we are about to see here there is no no storage account no resources we have added no resource it's just blank right if you see here it's just blank we just created now and uh, and there is no uh, no resource attached to this particular resource group okay just yeah, it, it's a blank resource group and what what another thing we can see the location is this we have given this in our common prompt itself right and another thing uh, if you see, uh, so uh, the subscription we have given is this. This is the default subscription because whenever we have click here, it's by default chosen this subscription here, right? If you want to choose any other subscription, we can provide this here as well, right? So now you want to add tag. You can add tag here or you can provide the tag here as well, right? While you are creating that resource. Now our resource is ready, right? Let's see. Now what we'll try to do, We'll try to create one, uh, create one storage account and attach that particular storage account to that, to the resource group we have created newly, right? So for that, what we can do, uh, let's, uh, we'll go with IAAC and I'm going to create this, okay? So the command, I just put here. OK. So what happened? So this is AG, right? The command, Azure command. And what it will happen, the storage account, we are going to create the storage account. The create, create is the, you know, the operation we are going to do. What is the name we are going to provide? Storage Smart AK IAAC, right? So it's infrastructure as code. Same tagging we are trying to use it so that we'll able to literally you know uh, properly segregate between the existing one and this one right so and then also where we are go going to attach this the resource group is rg smart Techie iasc even if you if you are not giving this right you are not provide uh, you know providing this to this command it will just be orphan right it will just a resource there will be no resource group right but whenever we are creating any uh, any uh, resource through our portal is it giving you an option to leave the resource group as is no right you, if not available create one if available use one right so that's how it is so that's why we have provided this one that we have recently created right and then what all other things so here uh, here we are trying to see location we have given Australia East. SKU, what is the SKU? So the SKU is the standard uh, LRS, 
right what kind of you no know, storage we are going to use in the internal uh, internal uh, you know storage capacities and one of the things is the tire access tire we are using hot we can also make it cold uh, you know, uh, i mean uh, not a problem and you are making it https only e equal to true why this is now secure no one whoever is using http cannot use this particular resource right so I, we are applying https only as true right so in this case so if you are trying to execute this what will happen we'll try to see when we'll refresh it here this is our uh, this is our particular uh, you know uh, resource group right once this will be created successfully that particular that particular storage account will so must be attached to this particular resource group why while we are uh, you know executing that command we have given this particular resource group as our you know resource group for this particular uh, you know storage account we are going to create right let's see what happened okay something has happened it's available and it's trying to create and the key creation time all these things it's used so this is this is the you know this is the template it's created right so one, whenever it's getting created we, we we can always see a template for that right but as we have created this from the command line this itself created the azure itself created one you know template for that whenever we are using now you can always copy this one and store somewhere as a template file template.json file right so now let's go back here and see refresh it there you go right this is the storage account being created and also attached to that resource group in one command you don't have to go for i mean throughout the you know uh, all over the uh, uh, you know uh, azure portal and click that button resource group go there and select something blah 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 right just in one command you just able to create the whole thing and whatever you really need now if you go to the storage account this is all storage account we don't have any blob though we didn't create any blob here only you have created this time is the storage account here also what you can do now you can create your own command to create a blob a create a blob in your container okay take it as a homework you should able to create one blob in this particular account okay i can share you uh, i can share these things i mean uh, in uh, in our uh, you know in our uh, channel as well so if uh, if you want to you can use this however i mean now you know like how to create a resource group and how to create a, another uh, resource or storage for example storage and <coughs> attaching to that particular uh, particular resource group we have created now the next step is try to try to add one blob into that particular uh, to that particular uh, no uh, storage account we have created same thing we did earlier from the portal itself right we are trying to mimicking that from our console itself right without touching those you uh, know uh, uh, touching those uh, portal creation rather we are using our uh, you know uh, cli or any our uh, bas cell azure cell to kind of activities so try try at home uh, if i mean uh, if possible so it will be uh, you know easier for you to understand those things right correct so that is uh, one of the thing and uh, and the other thing what you can do see even if you will go to the you know uh, home see all resources you will find that storage account as well right all this storage account is created here you can see this now what you can do if you want to delete whatever you have created from your uh, command line you can go here the resource group you have created right all resources no resource group right the resource group you have created from the command line select it delete it so it will delete it delete everything whatever you have created from your or uh, through your command prompt right so those are the things uh you can i mean you can do so uh, try try out at home so you should be able to uh, see all those things okay okay then thank you so much